Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to a very, very special video. This is the World Warfare and Economics roadmap until early access launch on Steam. So theoretically, this is from November, currently, well, a month ago, to April. Um, I'm assuming we're into week three. Now, the reason why is just because the sheer amount of weeks that they've posted, um, going about uh, 23 weeks. Um, it goes from November to April, and I'm assuming this is the last two weeks of December, or if this is week three might be the first week of uh, December, with the theory that I think it's 21 weeks until the max of April, where I'm sitting at right now, which is right here. If I were to include the months in April, that'd be those two, or whatever, but this list says November, so I'm just assuming we're in week three. I might be wrong. But anyways, so we're going to look at the roadmap week by week by week and see what they're going to be working on. Take note um, to people, uh, if anyone from, uh, for example, uh, Superpower is reading this, um, this is how you do a roadmap, not, hey, roadmaps are hard, we're not doing one. So it looks like week one, uh, enable pressing, uh, highlighting enclave in, uh, enclaves in provinces. Uh, the specifically for just map work, for warfare work, they did uh, naval unit mechanisms and multi-units in battle, and they also are doing real-life conflicts and military events. So possibly scripted events? Don't know. I don't know. Don't have access to the game yet. It got pushed back. So once I become, once it gets available to me, which I think is going to be in a couple of weeks, we'll see about that. But in the meantime, integrating API data into the game, restructuring GDP calculations, cool embassies, um, no space work at the current moment um, when it comes to politics, just implementation of uh, looks like just some data for the next couple of weeks, some AI work, um, specifically AI building and upgrading their economy and AI suggestions. I'm assuming the AI suggestions is for the player. Uh, sound work, it looks like there will be long-term work being done on the sound till week 17, specifically soundtrack stuff. And SFXF modding, supporting, creating, and adding military units will be a modding ability, it looks like, early on. For DLCs and multiplayer, it looks like there won't be any for the moment going forward, um, but there will be, obviously, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, long term. Um, there'll be 29 countries implemented for the first, after weeks four, uh, one through four, sorry, and then there are three other things here that'll be worked on. Looks like up until release, which is the ability to save and load. I hope that's the ability right off the bat. A tutorial, and then localization, which will be an ongoing working process. Cool. Weeks three and four, uh, we'll still be working on uh, the real life conflicts and events. It looks like that's just going to be all going all the way till release, or sorry, till early access and at the launch. But peace treaties, conferences, and annexation mechanisms will be worked on pretty much in the next couple weeks. Multi trade deals, no, nothing when it comes to diplomacy. Still nothing with space, but for politics. We'll still be working on stuff. So I'm just going to, from now on, actually say what they will be working on long term. Uh, so anyways, so for weeks uh, three and four, AI will offer and react to peace proposals. The AI building and upgrading their economy. So they'll be able to hopefully build stuff for their own economy and upgrade things that they need to. Um, obviously, the sound stuff uh, for modding, uh, support, uh, creating and editing technologies. There we go. Week five. I uh, forgot to mention, um, week three and four will also be the implementation of city models, which is pretty good. Uh, for warfare, for week five, it looks like there'll be work on the annexation mechanism even more, um, plus naval battles. Um, the economy we worked on for specifically economic events, looks like entertainment events, sporting events, things like that. Uh, there'll be AI more AI improvements for the naval behavior, which kind of goes with the adding of naval battles there. Uh, and more... Supporting and creating and editing technologies, or editing facilities now, in week five going into week six. As we scroll over here, week seven, um, we should see the ramp up of the data integration, uh, improvement, sorry, intergovernmental organizations will be included in week six, seven, and eight. Uh, we'll have some AI improvements going from week seven to week eight into week nine, which is good. Um, Looks like uh, support creating and adding editing laws and policies will be added in as modding support, which is nice in week seven, week eight. Now, mind you, probably these are all just kind of things that'll be done. 
Uh, it looks like during weeks six, seven, and eight, we'll get uh, 50 more countries implemented into the game, which would be cool. As we scroll further, so weeks eight, nine, we'll have implementation of APCs, MLRS, uh, helicopters, and artillery. Look at that. Super uh, looking at you, Golem Labs. See, you can do it. Um, looks at week nine, week 10, they'll be working on the stock market, loans, and poverty, which would be interesting. Envoys, I wonder how that's going to work. That'll be interesting. Uh, they'll be beginning to integrate in week nine, week 10, the integration of real space data missions or missions data, which would be very interesting. So maybe, you know, your own country's Artemis and things like that. Uh, looks like in week 10, the AI will ask to join other space missions across the globe. That would be kind of cool. Looks like the editing of the map for modding will start around here and the beginning of the integration of 80 more countries will be brought in around week nine and extend all the way to week 14, which is kind of cool. Um, we have some work around here on week 10 to week 13 on the intelligence actions will be implemented. Um, on week 11 and 12, we're gonna have polluting and climate change and stability and corruption. Uh, worked on and hopefully added into the game. Insult and embrace and grievances uh, when it comes to... Ooh, that'll be actually interesting. Will be added in. Support mining resources from planets. Hello. That's something I wasn't expecting. That'll be interesting. Uh, election promises will be a thing that they're going to be implementing from in uh, starting in week 11 to week 13. I'm going to assume work will start at the beginning of week 11. It will be implemented into a patch by way the end of week 13 or the beginning of the next week. That's how I think everything's going. It's starting development here and then getting patched in over here. Or there might be just large patches. Um, like, you know, monthly patches where, you know, hey, we worked on these things. We're now implementing these four things, plus this, plus this, and this. Boom, there you go, type thing. How the patches are going to work, obviously, will be a different thing. Um, let's see. Um, AI will send envoys across the globe roughly around week 12, which is good. It's going to be 12 weeks from now or 10 weeks from now. I'm not too sure on the actual time frame. Uh, starting week 13, implement... Uh, um, wow. Wow. City animations, destroyed, repaired, and ruins. Okay, that'll be a good implementation. Implementation. Oh, never mind. I'm not even going to say the word. I can't apparently say it. Uh, world resource availability. So I'm assuming it says for resource crisis. I'm assuming that might be an option you can turn on. Or I'm assuming it's a maybe a game mode or a scenario where everyone has depleting resources the longer you go you know basically you know you can only produce a certain amount of resources and you know no resources are unlimited so to speak now uh, looks like week 12 to week 13 we'll get the war diplomatic actions added in uh around week 13 ai will insult embrace other countries ai will declare and discard grievances upon other countries nice uh, around week 14, support biochemical nuclear bombing effects and war supports. So we have our NPC, or NBC, sorry. No, actually, no, there's no B. Yeah, B. Yeah. There's no chemical. Well, biochemical. So yeah, NBC um, effects and war support. So probably when you get the game early on, if you're able to get it early, you probably can use nuclear weapons, chemical weapons, biological weapons. And obviously they're not going to do it. it was, <laughs> they may not affect anything initially when it comes to your, obviously, support. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Uh, countries bankruptcy plus equality will be nice. Week 14 will be implemented or at least worked on. Uh, world influence integration. I wonder how that's going to work. Because it also comes in with political stability with war support as well. So I'm wondering if this is both political war support and your actual country's internal war support. Which will obviously affect your uh, your stability there. Interesting. We no work done over here on space stuff. Uh, during week fifteen, we'll inter uh, integrate bombing with cities animation nuclear program, and it looks like POWs as well. Uh, looks like a large amount of work is going to start going into adjusting the economic calculations, adding more technologies, disasters, things like that. You can start doing embargoes and agreements apparently. Um, or well, I'm gonna say you're apparently that's that's one that's gonna be worked on. Um, coalitions and oppositions are gonna start getting worked on. I'm assuming it's government coalitions and stuff like that, right? Gray, 
Let's pull. It just says politics. So it could be coalition governments, things like that. Um, let's see. Week 15, they'll start work on AI yeah, will make diplomatic actions and AI will join slash leave organizations. Cool. Support create and editing international organizations and events. Support creating. Edit. Okay. Planets and galaxies. Galaxies. I think that is an error. I think it's planets and solar systems is what that's supposed to be. Because I can't see... Yeah, that's going to be solar systems. So don't go too crazy about that. It's not galaxies. It's probably solar systems. Uh, week 16, AI will ask and give loans. Week 17, there'll be work done on climate change stuff. Also looks like on week 15, there'll be the beginning of the integration of Ahara working on an additional 120 countries being integrated to the game by then. And looks like in the final six weeks... Uh, yeah, like I said, I think there's supposed to be a line there. Uh, implementation of roads and railways on the map. Nice. Um, week 18 as well. Unit designer and tactics. Line defense, armies, etc. Interesting. Adjusting calculations will go all the way to release. We'll have uh, migration, UN Security Council we worked on on the 18th up to release. Looks like a lot of work has been done in the last six weeks. Refugees as well was going to be in the last three weeks. Uh, organization summits, nice, and objectives. So probably along there it'll be, you know, certain organizations, international organizations will be like, hey, bring your education up to this much. Bring your, you know, your women's rights up to this level and things like that. And if you don't do it by a certain time frame, I'm assuming it affects your standing with all the countries that agreed type thing. That would be interesting. Um, referendum and more improvements. Nice. Implementation of Andromeda Galaxy. Maybe that was not a error. Okay. I am going to have to ask some questions about this. Uh, referendum and imp more improvements. The AI will initiate intelligence missions across the globe. AI will declare embargo and will pursue four agreements with other countries. That work will start on the 18th, or the 18th week to the 20th week. Auto management of AI, week 21 to 23. Integration of soundtrack and SFX, cool, last six weeks. In game modding tool will start the 17th week. And then Steam work talk, Workshop integration will be worked on in the last two weeks, plus the remaining 150 countries in the game, plus Max and Linux support. So that is the power, power, the world warfare and economics roadmap going forward for the next 20 some odd weeks, uh, basically up until early access launch on Steam in uh, in april there you go if you need to get a good look at this i will give you a second to pause and look okay so that's weeks one through nine and that's weeks uh 10 to 17 and then that's the last six weeks yeah so i like this it gives me a good idea honestly of what's happening what's being done um, what's being worked on when it plans on being basically worked starting to be done and then added into the game there were some questions i had which actually have been answered um by this which i was waiting for when i got my hands on the game um like i was trying to figure out how many countries were actually integrated at the beginning is roughly here is where we are i'm pretty sure anywhere from week three to week five this general spot here is where we are um but yeah so there we go so there is the roadmap um if you haven't already you can go in the discord for world warfare and economics and uh get a get a good look on it there and uh yes yeah, so there it is i'm actually pretty impressed with this these guys have already done what another um developer can't which is tell people what's being worked on and how and when it's being worked on um this is a game in development and the other one is a game that was already released and everyone had to pay $30 to find out that it was still in development. But I'm not bitter. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You could have been watching anything else, but you're watching this. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.